thousands hit the pavement for the Nike Go LA 10K, a chance to run free on a usually packed freeway. And there's someone buried in this crowd who is the one person who knew the way. Just to get out there and move and to choose go is, is what our sport is all about. Joan Benoit Samuelson led this race as she did 34 years ago in the 1984 Olympics. The first year the women's marathon was offered and she won gold in L.A. I just want to thank all the women who preceded me in the sport. And even decades later, she hopes to inspire runners of the future. When I'm running, I don't think about the things that uh, happened in school or my family or anything like that. I'm just running for the moment. Young people made their presence known as well. Students Run L.A. was in full force, an organization that helps at-risk kids train for marathons. Part of this race's proceeds will be given back to them. They'll give you shoes and they'll give you free entry fees to the races and to the marathon and for seniors they give you an opportunity for a scholarship as well but for many here a big draw for this race is the path itself or the pavement as you can see they are running literally on the 90 freeway with no traffic the freeway is a pain so this is so nice to be able to be out there on my own pace a closure that hasn't happened since 1984. There weren't many of us running down the LA freeway back in 1984 and to be doing it carbon free on Earth Day was really special. A special moment for a gold medalist and those just trying to be active. But that's the point of Go LA to keep us moving. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.